After seeing this post on Facebook, guys, and making video, I discovered that this has happened to various different BYD EV owners. I don't know why, but I didn't press this button, fortunately, in my BYD 803, but other, other people have done it in the 803 and the Seal, and it has essentially bricked their cars. You have to drive 60 kilometers at under 30 kilometers an hour uh, before it actually fixes itself. The BYD Seal, it hasn't really sold that well in China because there's so many other BYD models available in China. And in fact, there's so many models of car in China that are so incredibly affordable, but it's been a huge hit in Australia and in other countries as well. I mean, Thailand, the BYD Seal, it's a really good price. Not in Europe where it hasn't sold that well because it's relatively expensive. In fact, it's about 40% more expensive in Europe than it is in Australia. But here in Australia, people are getting them for incredibly good prices. And they're starting to realize just how good they actually are. But do not press this button in your BOD seal. It's relatively easy to do. There's a button on the screen. And if you press it, your car is completely bricked. This is not clickbait. I'm 100% serious. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. The BYD Seal, would I buy one? Yeah, actually, I probably would. I mean, you're talking a real world 500 kilometers of range, you know, more than 300 miles of range, well over. Even in freeway driving, I've, I've talked to owners. One owner said he's going, he's driving at 120 kilometers an hour and he's getting well over 500 kilometers of range when he drives on the freeway. I mean, this is very impressive range figures. I think the BOD seal, especially here in Australia, the price is just, it's its pretty spectacular. I can see why so many, so many people are buying them, why so many people are interested in them. It's really a tough question to buy the BOD seal or a Tesla Model 3 Highland. They're both really good in different ways. I'm a big fan of both of them. But, but, aside from the um, very impressive performance, the impressive range, the... Um, impressive battery pack, the impressive prices. There's one thing in the BYD seal that's not impressive. And here's what an owner had to say after he was left completely stranded. Yesterday, I happily picked up the my new car, BYD seal in dynamic white, and I drove it for an hour or two. I was curious about each icon on the screen. Now, I would do the same thing. In fact, if I had have been him, I can see myself in this guy because I would have touched every button as well. I'm exactly like this. I would have just touched everything and said, what does this do? I'll touch it. I think that's pretty normal, right? So he says, I clicked on every button and suddenly the transport mode was turned on and my car was set to a speed limit of 30 kilometers an hour. Um, I mean, if, you're, if you've got to drive down a highway, you can't drive at 30 kilometers an hour. It's illegal. Uh, anyway. He said, I called BYD and asked for a solution. I tried various things, pressing the start button for 15 seconds. I tried other things as well, but in the end, I couldn't solve the problem. That BYD over the phone couldn't solve the problem. So I'm planning to call a tow truck and go to BYD today. They say you have to go and connect to a computer to unlock transport mode. I hope others will be careful with this transport mode. I'm totally baffled. And BYD should have just driven the damn computer thing to him rather than him having to get a tow truck to take the car to BYD. I mean, surely it'd be easier for them to just say, um, you know what, we'll drive out with the little computer thing to you. Or maybe they couldn't, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's like some sort of no, computer that is, doesn't have a laptop feature or something. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty surprised that just by pressing a single button on your touchscreen, which doesn't even say what it is, your car is, well, it's essentially bricked. I mean, you can only drive it at 30 kilometers an hour. Um, that's um, it's pretty strange. Now, I think BYD will fix this with some kind of software upgrade, some sort of software update. But at this point in time, there's got to be other owners of the SEAL who have pressed this button and not known that it was going to brick their vehicle. Also just bizarre that BYD wouldn't have fixed the problem for him and he'd have to call a tow truck. Guys, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a seal because of this one issue. This is an easy fix that BYD can easily sort out. But this kind of customer service is just wacky. 
It's just like, what? You've got to be kidding me. Now, to all you BOD seal owners out there, have you had this happen to you? And let me know about your experience, by the way, in terms of range. I'm hearing really good reports for the steel, the BOD seal range being more potentially in some cases than what's advertised, which is kind of a really nice feature. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.